Goliath. This man's been going to the doctor week in and week out, month in and month out. I said, brother, what's wrong with you? He said, none of the doctors will tell me. But he said, I'm so sick, I can't even raise up my head. Doctors say it is unknown. But while I was talking to the man, I heard God's voice. How many believe God can speak to a man? And God spoke to me right back there in the invalid section where the helpless and crippled are brought night after night before we bring them up here. And if I ever heard God, I heard God. God spoke and said, this may be unknown to man, but it's not unknown to me. I know it all. God says, when you pray for that man tonight, rebuke a spirit of infirmity, a demon of cancer. Son, do you believe that God can talk to me? You're dying with cancer. And nobody will tell you. But I believe they know. Oh, God. God's going to heal you tonight. Do you believe it? I believe it. Tonight? I believe from it. From head to toes. From head to toes. This is his sister. You believe God tonight? Yes, I do. To heal your brother? Yes. Tell him this is his night. This is your night. Get right down on your knees there beside him. Say, brother... This is your night, brother. brother. This is your night. This is your night to be here, brother. Yeah. This is your night. This is your night, brother. <laughs> Let's pray. Jesus, we're believing big. We're talking big. We're thinking big. And it's going to bring the big, mighty power of God into our operation to do big. Oh, Lord. I lay hands on this man in the name of Jesus. And oh, God! It's, it, it's taking place right now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is God's power. Right now, Lord, cursed be this devil of cancer. Thou spirit of infirmity, I find you in the name of Jesus. It's done. I feel it, it is done. In Jesus' name, get up on that. Pick up your bed and walk. Bring me the next wheelchair.